Tahoe's boat inspection stations are expected to be busy this weekend as many people beat the heat by hitting the water. We're just uh, getting out of town with the family and the kids and uh, we rented a house in the Keys right there on the water. So we just figured a good spot to get out of the heat, beat the heat and uh, get on the water. The heat wave is going to bring so many people up here and a lot of new boaters are coming in with used boats. They're not aware of the clean drain and dry method to getting on the water faster. An increase in used boat sales over the past year means aquatic invasive species are more likely than ever to make their way into the lake. An inspection is mandatory. An appointment could save you time. If the boat needs to be decontaminated, then they'll be here for about an hour. It's not that bad of a process, but if they make an appointment ahead of time, then everything goes a lot smoother and they get on the water faster. Boaters should also know the lake's water levels are lower than they've been since the drought of 2015. As a result, three public launch ramps have announced they're closed for the season. So far, we're already seeing a lot more people than we did even last year. At Camp Richardson, beach space fills up early. Kayaks and canoes are rented quickly and don't even try parking if it's afternoon. It's the first weekend without the mask mandate. Do you think, how do you think people will react or how, how will that play a role? I think people are really excited about it. Um, a lot more people are coming up here, a lot less angry people who have to put on masks. It's a lot nicer in the sun, no more mask tans. <laughs> you may not need a mask anymore, but if you're headed to Tahoe, you will definitely need some patience as employees around the lake anticipate a very busy weekend. A lot of businesses up here are understaffed and we're going to be doing the best for all the tourists and everybody coming up in time for Father's Day and everything like that. Um, so just be patient, enjoy your vacation, enjoy the warm weather and everybody will have a good time. In South Lake Tahoe, Kristen Samos, KCRA 3 News. Something else to be aware of if you're heading to Tahoe, there are new fire restrictions because of the drought. Wood and charcoal fires are banned everywhere in the basin. The only exception is the city of South Lake Tahoe where you can use a charcoal barbecue.